think the first time I saw myself in a book was probably with The Babysitter's Club by Anne M. Martin. There was a character named Claudia Kishi. She was the one Asian American in The Babysitter's Club. And the author did this brilliant thing where she would rotate through the books um, who narrated. And I just remember going to the library and finding the books that were written from Claudia's perspective and grabbing them all and checking them all out because they were my favorite for two main reasons. One, she was on the cover of each of her books looking awesome. She would have the best earrings, the best clothes, her black hair like mine, and the book would describe her eyes as almond eyes, which I just thought was so beautiful. I'd never thought of my eyes in that way. And the second reason is that her stories really resonated with mine. Uh, she lived with her immigrant grandmother who she adored. I did as well. She loved art, which was not stereotypical for Asian Americans. My true passion was art. And, you know, I didn't have the words as a kid to be able to pinpoint what was going on in my life and reading Claudia's words really helped me process that. I would feel like I was straddling two worlds the American friends that I had versus my Asian family at home. And it didn't feel good not to know exactly what I was going through and to have a book mirror back to me and help me make sense of my experiences. It was just like identity epiphanies all the time. And so I think that for kids and people who don't see themselves in books, it can make them feel like they don't belong, like there's not a place for them. Whereas the opposite is true. The world is better because you're in it and the world needs your distinct stories. And so I'm really grateful to publishers who are publishing authors with more diverse stories these days. And I'm grateful to be one of them.